The latest performance benchmarks of Intel's Core i5-9600K mainstream unlock processor have leaked out. The benchmarks were posted over at a Chinese video streaming portal and show both the stock and overclock performance of the soon to be released CPU in various CPU intensive workloads. The performance benchmarks posted are from CPU specific workloads and not game benchmarks which most people are looking forward to seeing. Still, the results give us a good idea of what to expect from the 9th generation Core i5 processors. We know that Intel has already announced their 9th generation Core lineup which will be available on October 19th. The Intel Core i5-9600K is a 6 core and 6 thread part with 9 megabytes of L3 cache. This makes it very similar to the Core i5-8600K. The difference is that it features higher clock speeds of a 3.7 GHz base and a 4.6 GHz boost, 4.5 for 2 cores, 4.4 for 4 cores, and 4.3 for 6 cores. All of this is done at the same TDP of 95 watts, albeit for the base clock. The processors will retail for a price of $262 US when it's available next week although expect it to be a bit higher than that. As for performance testing, the chip was tested using the MSI Z390 Meg Godlike motherboard with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory and a high-end Thermal Wright Silver Aero Extreme Air Cooler. The processor was first tested at its stock clocks and showed that it was able to maintain a frequency of 4.6 gigahertz in single and 4.3 gigahertz across all cores when running multiple thread intensive workloads. It should be noted that the chip has six lower threads compared to the Core i7-8700K and is 100 megahertz lower boost clock. Still managed to deliver some pretty interesting numbers. Coming to the overclock performance benchmarks, we see that the chip was overclocked to 5.2 gigahertz on air cooling with a voltage of 1.507 volts, which is ridiculous ridiculously high when compared to even my Core i5-8600K that can do 5.2 gigahertz at 1.425 volts. But it is D-Lid with a budget-minded Cooler Master Master Liquid 240 AIO. It is not known whether this was a manual overclock or an auto overclock using the built-in BIOS tuner. The Core i5-9600K uses the new stem, well, soldered thermal interface material, and even still, the temperatures were going past 90 degrees Celsius at full load across all cores. The culprit is most likely the high voltage, so there's that. Now, the entire system power consumption was around 240 watts in the CPU-only workloads, which is pretty standard for all CPUs in the mainstream department. But, if I'm being completely honest here, this is pretty underwhelming, and it makes it appear that all we're really getting over the 8600K is slightly higher stock speeds and solder. Because if this is representative, then it overclocks about the same as a DLED 8600K. Speaking of which, if you're interested in uh, the unpublished results of our F5 8600K uh, DLEDing experiment, let me know. And while you're at it, let us know what you think about the i5-9600K so far. Now, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.